What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Soulcast, the show where we talk about everything culture, secrets, and streetwear. We got our co-host, Eden. Yo, what's good? And we got our new co-host, Carson. What's up? All right, Carson, what you rocking today, my bro? I got the uh, Shans on. You know, the 97s, they cool, but... I know what you're rocking today. I uh, just got on tie tie dye Reagan SBs. All right, for me, um, I wanted to pay homage to uh, young Virgil Abloh. I got the uh, off white Jordan fives, uh, the black colorway. So, I mean, again, RIP to Virgil, and you know, hopefully his, his name lives on. today's episode, we're going to be recapping what happened this year in 2021. In recent news, we got the young Virgil Abloh, you know, sadly passed away. What do you guys think about what's going to happen from now on and, you know, in his legacy with Nike and all his off-white collabs and whatnot? Moving forward, uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, greedy resellers. Sad part. That's I could part agree of. with that. And then two, we got an affordable off-whites that we'll probably never see again. And then the collection going forward would never be anything like Virgil, how he did it. So, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe the stuff that he still has that he hasn't released, like that'll still be the same type of like unique style, like the Chicago's and all that. But for whoever takes over his spot, let's say Kanye, like I know you mentioned, um, if they, if he takes over, um, you know you know what he does with Yeezys. I mean, we'll see what he does with the off whites. That's true. And then also, you know, Kanye wearing Nike and things in that nature. You know, he might even have a say in doing some things for Nike again. You know, he always talks about it in interviews, recent interviews and stuff having to do with Jordans and Nike and that criteria and stuff like that. So maybe we'll see something coming to the near future. Um, I think since they're supposedly saying he's going to be the creative director for Louis Vuitton, I know with the Louis Vuitton, they're going to, um, you know how they they were going to do the collab with the Nikes, the yeah. Air Forces. So yeah. with him being now the creative director, now he has a way to kind of like get in with Nike without being directly with Nike. Yeah, definitely. So like instead of it being like Kanye West times Nike, it's more Louis Vuitton times Nike. Uh -huh. But Kanye's in Louis Vuitton, so he, he kind of has like a has, say in yeah, it like to kind of give us, you a know, a little bit in it what, what he does. Yeah, so there's a lot of in and outs that, uh, but you know, sadly with with you know off, uh, with Virgil dying, I think uh, moving forward, uh, I mean, you got the IKEA collabs that you know he had going on. I, I, we were hoping to get more collabs off that. Definitely. Um, so we'll see if that continues on. Um, I mean, what do you guys think about the whole prices going up, the, the off whites? I mean. You know? It happens with everything, a passing, no matter like what like the specific reason is, prices will always shoot up. Um, but I feel like there's a point where it's really going to go back down and settle at like a stable market. Yeah, it might be high now, and then it could have been low before. Um, it'll intervene its way, like I said, into the middle. Um, I feel like the prices stay in the middle. It won't be too bad for the buyers, but at the same time, you know, who really wants to spend like $800 on an off-white dunk, you know, because it's, it's just a dunk with some strings on it in, a, in an off-white tag. So, I mean, $800 do you for that is... No, no, definitely. He's, he's, he makes a great point. I mean, it really, in it re, it all reality, they're just they're just Jordans or Nikes with a bit of his touch that we all go crazy for. Let's let's be real now. Same thing as with the Yeezys. We we saw some Roshis back in the day. He just put a little touch on it, and what they're shooting thousands until yeah. they're just sitting right now where anybody can get a pair. But he made his promise, like he said. But like Carson says. So Ro like, Roshis went hard though. You can't. Uh, don't, don't get they went, went hard. Crazy. Don't, they went hard, but I mean, Kanye made it even better. You know, let's be real now. Are you mad with the prices? Like, are you mad that like every reseller like to get to that extreme? I mean, we saw it with the same thing with the uh, like Kobe's and stuff. So, I mean, are I you mean, mad? I'm not, not going to sit here and say like, yes, I can't wait to pay more for a shoe, but like. No, but you're directly I, I mean, mad at no, that? No, I understand. Do understand like, it. I, I understand it. Like I, like I, like I said, I'm not like yes, I want to pay more. Like it doesn't really affect me in the case because. I don't know. I just. I don't are really you mean. mad that the resellers are are uh, increasing their prices just because of Virgil's death? No, at the end of the day, it's like a business. Like I said, it's 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 a business for everybody. Everybody's got to survive. Everybody's got to eat. And I just think, um, you know, if you're in the market to to purchase, maybe not a good market for you. But if you're in the market to sell, then yeah, why not? 
Um, I, I mean, I, me personally, I wouldn't. It's not. What? <laughs> it's not. I, I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, yeah, you know, sadly he passed away. So it's going to happen. Any artist, you know, paintings and stuff like that. Uh, anytime the the artist dies, mm. their work goes up. That's or just it, gets, how it, is. it actually goes noticed as well. You know, yeah. So people... so it always happens. Uh, you there's just no way to stop that. Like you know, let's it's, say hi, you know, God forbid, Michael Jordan died. You know, his shoes are gonna go up. That's just exactly. inevitable. Exactly. You know. So no one can say, oh, you know, th- what they're doing is horrible because it's gonna happen no matter what. Yeah. So you just gotta kind of accept the fact. You, you, know? you gotta accept the reality. Um, yeah. It's gonna, it's, it, you accept it and not be mad about it and just kind of, you know, um, uh, appreciate the shoe for what it is and, and at the time. So if you were the ones to say like, oh, I'll buy it right then uh, and there, then, you know, you got lucky to, yeah. to, to, to you know, to you appreciate the shoe it, yeah. and have it with you uh, compared to the dudes that are just buying it just to say, oh, I'm buying it because, you know, they're going up mm-hmm. and, and, and now I'm part, you know, kind look of buying at, look, into the hype of exactly. him. Exactly. Look at that, look at the quick buck rather than looking at the appreciation. For yeah. The yeah. Cause, speaker. cause I mean, you had enough time. Anyone had enough time to, you know, buy a pair of off whites, you know, at one point, especially Definitely. with the lots, them being cheap, you know, compared to every other shoe. Uh-huh. Uh, so, I mean, if you didn't have a, you, you, if you really were into the brand, then you would have bought into it. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like, just so, the same thing as Jordans. You're into the brand. You, you buy into. You're into Adidas brand. You buy into. You know, whoever comes along comes along. Yeah, exactly. Moving forward, what do you guys think about 2021 as a whole, um, as far as sneaker releases, um, the culture, streetwear going on? How do you How do you feel how we've left off this year? Uh, I think the year ended in like a good way, release terms, like all the releases, like Cool Grays. Um, sadly, the uh, Patent Ones got pushed back, um, and the Thunder Force, the red and black ones. But I just feel like everything that Jordan brand is making is legit, just like a color we've already seen, or they might just be flipping it. There's like, there's no unique designs that are like new, you know, it's just the same old thing, just something new, like a little mm-hmm. Nike sign change color yeah. or something. It's just nothing like, dang bro, like I never seen those. I'm gonna need those. That's, that's, it's not like that anymore. It, it hasn't been like that since like, I don't know, like 2015, 16. Like it really just hasn't been the same. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of good stuff for a lot of people that you know just want shoes and GRs, and I feel like yeah, it's been a pretty good year in 2022 coming on. It'd be good. Um, I think they've been taking it to a whole different level now. I mean, like the Amaneers is a good example of those. Yeah. Uh, now they're including more stores into their brand. So mm. like Amaneer being a retail store, mm. um, we didn't see that back then. I mean, yeah, we saw the unions. Now I feel like they're actually taking more stores into account. Yeah. And, and letting more creators come into the brand and do their own thing. Yeah. And it's been working out. I mean, I mean the Amamanir 1s, the Amamanir 3s, it's been working out for them in the sense that bringing all these new create, creators and you know creative Designers. minds into, in, into the brand yes. and letting them do their thing, I think they're starting to get the gist of like, oh, hey, we're, we can let other people kind of do the work for us in mm-hmm. a sense. Yeah. Uh, so they don't have to like, you know, over overwork their their own creators and directors over mm-hmm. there in Jordan brand. So uh, I think it's good. I mean, I think the, I think what they're moving on forward now is, is, is a good, it is good for the culture and is good for, 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 you know, just the whole sneaker industry in general. That's a lot, yeah. um, so, I mean, what do you think? What's your take on the, um, uh, what they're I see, like you said, uh, all the new uh, designers and sneakers and uh, all the new ideas they put it into the Jordans is really just Jordan brand and Nike expanded as a whole. Or also, as, uh, I was really excited about like some iconic colorways that we were waiting for for a long time. The cool grays, you know, it's been 10 years. Um, the lightnings, it's been about, what, 15, 16 years since then? Maybe even more. Um, 16. Since 2005? 14, yeah, since 15. 2005. So it's, so it's been a while, you know, we see these colors that we haven't seen that we've wanted in a long time, but um, now people are not liking the, that stuff. You know, we want certain colorways these days, and then when we all get it as a whole, because there's so many pairs in the world that anybody can grab, in this industry, too much is too bad. Too little is too bad. So you can, you're can you never going to please the industry in a way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like They need to keep it like... They gotta keep it how they did back then, where you could, where it was, you can't, if you if you don't have that shoe, you don't have that shoe, and it's, you're not gonna get that shoe anytime soon, you know. Rather, where everybody can get their hands, everybody and their moms. It's kind of like think of it like the car wise, like you can't just go buy a, a a Lamborghini, like a new one that just came out. You gotta be on a list, like you gotta work exactly. up to get it. You gotta buy previous models to get it. Like these shoes, like everyone can get it. Everyone and their grandmother has them on exactly. in the mall, and it's just like, you know dang, saying? bro, like I. 
damn, like, why, why did I buy these? Exactly. It's, it doesn't make it. It's not like nostalgic. Uh -huh, it doesn't like, make it not, as special as buying yeah. the shoe as you did back then. So, in a way, sneakers this year were, I would say, somewhat decent. It hit home in some sneakers, and for some, it's just it's the same thing I've been seeing in the last few years. Here's a, the perfect example on that the Lightning 4s. I think there was so much anticipation for that colorway to come mm -hmm. out, but think about it. The hype wasn't, like, as as what we would assume it'd be. Mm -hmm. Like, we thought that shoe was going to shut the year down. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. in, in my opinion, just because, like, I mean, you... you Times have changed, though. The kids uh, that were... The kids in 2006 That's what I'm saying. Like, 05, now. 06, you know, when those shoes came out and they were super limited. I mean, last year, if you would have told me last year, two years ago, I, if you had a pair of Lightning 4s, like, that was, like, holy grail. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, literally, it's a holy grail. Like, you don't see those debt stock. You don't see those in good condition. You know, if you had them and you saw someone walking around, like, damn, those are, like like heat you know and then now you see it now it's like washed in a yeah. way so i think there because here's the thing that i see that jordan brand can release any colorway that they want at any point yeah, right? it'll always sell out too right. yeah but what i'm saying is that i don't think that's even their selling point anymore like like as far as like yes they're making money off of it because they're going to sell out but i'm talking about from like the hype perspective mm -hmm. of like i think where that hype is coming from is all these collabs and now i think jordan's starting to notice this that oh like these lightning force ain't even creating the hype for us now. These Alma Meniers, though, and all these unions and all this, like all these other brands, they're the ones actually creating the 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 hype shoes. The hype, like the resale. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, cause like. But lightning. do you really think Jordan cares about their hype shoes? I don't think they do. I think at the end out. of the day, they just care about their money. Of course. You know their money, um, and and I mean, I, like for example, the Cool Gray Elevens. You really think they 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 care about? If this shoe's gonna bring hype, if it's gonna resell for this much, all they know they, is that it will sell it's, out. It's a million pairs that they made, maybe even more, and they're all selling out day of. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. think about it. Like they're just they're ballers. Why we hate? But I like hate. that they're. I, I, what I'm saying is that I, I think with them bringing all these creatives, we can see different shoes than us just seeing a whole bunch of retros every year. Because yeah. like, or I mean, think about it. That they retro, now they're starting retro, um, retros every four or five years now yeah like it's starting to get it's gonna get boring like people say oh i want to see this shoe retro but i mean we just saw that with the lightning fours they retroed no yeah. one messed with them like that you yeah. know what i mean compared to the people that actually really really did want the shoe but i mean people just get it it, it releases and then people forget about it that's true so i i think with them doing all this new creative stuff with them doing all these collabs and like they're they're kind of mixing the shoe in a way just like how Virgil did with the off whites. Uh -huh. They're bringing something new to the table than just yeah. saying, "Oh, we'll just retro these. We'll just retro these every three, four years." That makes sense. All right, guys. So wrapping up 2021, what are y'all's personal top five shoes of this year? So I'd probably say so. My top five, not in any order, would be the Lemonade off whites, um, or the University Goals, however you want to call it. The Alma Manier threes, the Travis Fragment High and Low, and then um, I really like the Cool Grays. Even though I said like I don't like how Jordan brings everything back out. It's just, there's something about those 11s, man. The cool grades are fire. I can't even lie. They're, I can they're fire. It's a nice looking shoe. What do you know, what's your top five? It has to be cool gray as well. Um, that hits home. Is well this as, in order? Uh, no order in particular. Um, Lightning 4, that one as well hits home. Um, have to be the Travis Low and the Travis High. Here. Can't go wrong with these. Another fire. Actually, you know, swap out the high for the off-white two, and then I would have to say the lemonades. So my top five, I'd say I have the mummies. Something different. They changed it up this year. Um, I got those. Um, the lemonades. Lemonades are really dope-ass colorway. Uh, the off-white twos, white pair. Really like those a lot. The Ammanier threes, the white pair. Uh, those are super nice. And then for my fifth one, I'd probably do the Lightning Fours. Uh, I actually mess with those heavy. I think I think you got drip, bro. You got swag. The Lightning Fours. I, I like those a lot. You think he has swag? That top five is it's kind of. You got a little drip. Yeah. He don't like the mummies though. <laughs> he does not like <laughs> the mummies. Are, I'm sorry. Them shits look raggedy from the jump. I mean, they do. But they're kind. I mean, a mummy looks raggedy. <laughs> that's, that's but true. it's kind of cool, bro. I mean, I see like the whole. The whole I guess thing the whole concept, it. yeah. And there's nothing really like it, bro. I mean, they're not that sort of glows like crazy. So okay, good. moving forward, what do you think about Travis Scott's shoes? I'm not talking about, you know, all the controversial, you know, about the concert and whatnot, you know. Uh, we so want to get like into the, the shoes. shoes and his his brand in general. So I kind of feel like it's kind of a good move by pausing Nike and Travis's collabs, not letting them come out right now. Um, it kind of, like you said, it lets them be more rare. Not right. everything is able 
like not not everyone can have it. Exactly. Um, but you know, I feel like there's also they're throwing a lot of shame on it when mm. I mean, is it really like is it really necessary? Like Nike is just killing his name by not releasing his shoes. His shoes bring him so much support and his fans. I mean, Cacti mm. and canceling that and Coachella. I mean, I don't really know. I wonder if like the shoes have. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you think? Everything going on. I mean, with the whole situation, we're not gonna get into that. But like that, like killing his killing his game right now. He's he's on a streak right now. You know, exactly. just at, within the last few years, killing it with the shoes, the clothing. Even though some of the clothing is basic as hell, but people are still buying it. People are still consuming the product, and just for it to kind of just be at pause right now at the best time of the year, it's just not good at all. You know, for him at least. But, I mean, that's just a conversation. Do you think they're going to continue doing the shoes? I mean, we haven't heard anything about those uh, Air, Air Maxes yet. I already got those, bro. Huh? I got those. The yeah. ones unreleased? You got those? Yeah, yeah, of course I got them. He's a plug, I forgot. Yeah, I'm a plug. So, <laughs> do you think they're going to release them, though? Like, is there going to ever be yeah. a... a are be they going to see the light of day? Yeah, they will see the light of day, even the whole... They've probably already produced all of them. Yeah, They're they, probably they just sitting to. in, like, a warehouse, some factory or something right mm -hmm. now. Cause there's pa there's pairs floating around around. I know, these but areas. Nike has enough money to just burn them and just not release them if they really wanted to. But why would they do you that? Really, you really why think they were going to do that? that? They you would know how much not money do they would make off those? How many thousands of pairs they're going to make? I don't yeah, even let's think just burn them. I don't even I don't even think <laughs> Nike even cares about the money at this point. I think they care more about their their reputation? brand. If, if, yeah, their reputation. I mean, think about it. If if Nike were to say, "Oh, if we release these shoes, we're going to get canceled," they're gonna they're they're not going to release them. They care more about their reputation than they care about making a dollar. And you know that's true because of what they did with um, uh, Kaepernick. Oh, yeah, so then what true. do you think about the, you know, Ennis Cantor? This, what do you think about uh, that thing he did for Nike? His freedom, He's not even signed with Nike, though. It doesn't matter, but he has bought out a point. So if Nike really cares about their name, then why haven't they bought out, brought up anything that, what, what, like, what I don't he think said? They, I don't think they're going to just care about just one guy saying what, but, what that I mean, one guy's not it's saying more whatever. Sad. It's not just him. It's, it's, more, more. it's more serious than, than like what it sounds like, but they don't look into it because no one really knows about it. Exactly. So do they really care about their name? Behind the scenes, do they? Do they? You're just a Boston fan, that's what you say. Right? I'm just a boss. Yeah. What do you want to see for year 2022? Military fours, the off-white collab, uh, the bread four off-white collab. I'd like to see those. Maybe those yellow and white off-white ones, if those come out. The Canaries. The Canaries. The canaries. Those, are, those are hard. Um, the trophy room fours, and that's a lot of fours, threes and fours are really making their way back. And then, um, I don't know if y'all have seen, but the infrared fours that they, that were leaked, I don't know if I you've seen that. pictures, I think those are pretty cool. They kind of remind me of the fear fours, which are too expensive to buy right now, but. Oh yeah, no, those. no, those are pretty dope. Those the, are pretty the fear dope. fours, the, the shades of gray, black and uh -huh. white. Those are yeah, cool. the, the, the color blocking on the whole shoe yeah, just was just, just perfect. Yeah. I, they, again, like, Jordan hits and it misses. Some some releases they're good like those uh, what those thunder or those red thunder the four. Th I like those. I thought I thought those were pretty dope. So like that's a hit for them. But then when they come out with like that patchy three, yeah, I don't know, that those, GR, you, those yeah, those are like, just like why? Yeah, exactly why? So it's things of that nature. So hopefully we can get some, some good kicks going. In what do you want? What do you want to see? Um, like he said, those uh, those new infrared fours, infrared twenty three or whatever. Um, any off whites, you know, they're gonna be killer next year. Um, the breads, uh, military, like you said. Hopefully, those will drop the the game if, if they release. I think I think those bread off white fours. Uh, I know it's gonna be like me reaching, but those are gonna be shoe of the decade. I'm not even joking on that. A shoe of the decade. Hey yo! I can agree. Shoe of the decade. Yeah, off white yeah, bread yeah, fours. We're for real right here? I'm for real on that. Uh, he, oh, he Do you agree to that? Uh, Shoe of the decade, 10 years. I'm going to have to go with your reach, yes. Dude, those are fire. Those are the best shoes I have ever seen in my life. What do you think? I can't. That's not it, Chief. <laughs> can't go there, man. Dude. Dude. If those the decades, so those so, decades. So you're talking about 2020 to 2030. Yes. You're telling me not one shoe is going to top an off-white red no. four. Oh. Off-white red four. Dude, do not... I mean, probably the closest thing to it probably is going to be the off-white off -white, Louis Vuitton the, the Supreme. Mil the military fours beat the bread fours, in my opinion, all day long. No. Yeah. You just, because yeah, you see, like blue. See, wait. So? No, that's so? kind of biased. So, so <laughs> the only <laughs> thing that I... You like bread fours. How is that not biased? That, that's looking bad. Because the bread fours are more iconic than the military fours. To who? To you? To everyone. No, like, Jordan wore the bread fours. So he wore the military too. Did he? Yes. Gotta pull it up. Did he? No, he didn't. See, this is a sneakerhead that don't even know his facts right here. Okay, right? well, anyways, back to, on subject. 
If the bread four off whites come out next year, those are going to be shoe of the decade. For you. I promise you, write it in stone. Do what you need to do. Those are shoe of the decade. Those are the best shoes to ever come out in 10 years. And that's why we have our opinions. And yeah. you agree to that? Uh, I could agree. Okay. So if you're I, the only one that can agree I mean, to it's it. a clean shoe. Don't it's, get me wrong. It's it'll the be, cleanest it'll shoe. Top five. No, nah, I'm stretching that. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's clean, but no. Just no. You're, oh, you know. Those, uh, I want to see the canaries. The canary, the canary yellows. Those are better than the off-white red no. board. No, no. Those are not way better. They're good looking, but they're not better. They don't top it. Um, the the ones I want to see too that I said that I say probably would be about height wise and just maybe decade shoe is going to be the uh, off white Louis Vuitton Air Forces. I want to see those. Would you buy them? I'd buy those. Would you buy me one? Probably. <laughs> you heard that. So you heard it here first. So I want to see those. I know they're probably going to come out next year. You know, have you seen the pictures of them? Yes. The all white pair. They've made DJ, so many pairs, DJ so Kelly many samples. Like DJ Cali even posted a video of, of, of a pair that I really like a lot. I think those are going to shut down the game and it's definitely going to be one of those decade pairs that you can say it's probably one of the best that, shoes in the decade. I can agree with the decade on Cause, that. Because it's, it's just, just gonna be I mean, dude, like literally you're putting all these top brands together. Nike, off -white, Louis Vuitton, Off-White. I mean, it can't get any better than that. I mean, can it? Honestly, three of the best, three of the best brands to go together. Yes. No. No. Reebok, Under Armour, oh, and hell Hayes. No. Give me a nice little collab right <laughs> there. I'm telling you, those shoes come out, those shoes are going to top. Dude, the They're, old white pair? It's going to so be just I'm like a, the Supreme Louis Vuitton whenever they came out, whenever they did that release. Supreme, Probably even more. Su Supreme Louis Vuitton. Oh, no, the, yeah, just yeah. in general, the release, like the way that the release was and everything. The jeans, the Supreme Louis Vuitton jeans. Well, those it's going to shut the game down. I'm you, telling you, You know what it basically kind of gives me like a little vibe of? It was like the, the Dior and the Air Jordan. The Dior Jordan? Yeah, so it's like. See, I like those, but like, I just, no. I, I think I it just, tops it for sure. I mean, Dior I, Jordan, I, well, Supreme, or sorry, oh, not, no, it tops it. It yes, tops but it, but I don't see all the hype behind it because it's really nothing special. It's just like a little cloud and they, Dior barely put its name on the shoe. Like, that's true. It's it's not it's not like a Louis Vuitton Supreme collab where you but, could legit see everything on every single like the details. Yeah, it was it was just crazy. But think about it, people do cut customs on the Air Forces all the time. You know those people that cut off the bags and oh, everything. Yeah, yeah. Now that we're actually seeing an official. Because force, forces are on the way back. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I feel, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I feel like, or, it, okay, am I reaching on this? But I really think Air Forces are probably going to be the new Jordan 1, the new Jordan 3, the new Jordan 4. Like, as far as, like, what everyone's going to be rocking now. I think with them doing this collab, off, uh, Air Forces are just going to skyrocket. I mean, they're already, like Just like said, how the ones did. Like you said, they're on their way back right now because, like, it go, one, it goes with everything. Two, you can customize anything. Three... You can customize anything with it. You know what I'm saying? I, it's like everybody loves the damn shoe. Like you can't go wrong with an Air Force One. Like you said, it's the new modern day. What? Like we would just Vans, say? I guess. I don't know. It's, it's, it's also the time. It, it always goes back. Like time, ne That's even true. though time always changes, it you never lose it. That's you know, true. like fashion recycles like, and comes it, back. It, that's mm -hmm. exactly the word I was looking for. It recycle time recycles. I don't care what year, what time. It always recycles. Mm -hmm. uh, old hip hop, like 2000s Ti, like there he's coming back. A lot of people are playing that type of music. Mm -hmm. Those are when Fazos were going crazy. And what was popular back then? Air Force One. That's what I'm saying. That's when, like, with Fat Joe, every, with, you know, every, you, every, everything is just going to come back. Like, it's it's literally like a cycle. That's a perfect word for it. It recycles. I definitely see the, uh, especially with the Off White collab coming out. I think it's just going to shut the game down and then everyone's going to want a pair of Air Forces after that. Everybody is already looking for Air Forces at this yeah, point. Yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, all especially with the off white, anywhere. with like pairs like the this. Off, off white or not, bro, forces are like, you cannot go get an all white pair of forces. No, like, no matter where you go. Exactly. It's always, hey, bro, like, yeah, you can order them, bro. You can, no, like, I want to get them now. Like, I'm here for a reason. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why, it's it's why crazy. Can I buy them? It's crazy in today's day. Like, I mean, five years late, five years ago, you could have walked into Foot Locker and gotten a pair. Time recycles. Even probably like two years ago, a year ago, I'm not exactly 100% sure. No, but to girls. this day, you cannot go walk into Foot Locker, your local store, and get a pair of Air Forces for retail. You either have to go on Nike to order them, and that's even if they have it in stock. Or you got to go to a resale shop and pay resale on a that's pair of crazy. white Air Forces. That's just crazy. because like I walking mean, and pay resale for a pair of Vans. Exactly. That's, that's literally crazy. the that's exact... Just, 
way to, to, to say it. It's, it's just like paying Reese on a pair of Vans. And it just tells you how powerful the Air Force is. And like I said again, with this collab coming out, hopefully next year, it's just gonna take it to a whole nother level of hype as far as Air Forces. I think all the old school Air Forces are gonna start reselling for a lot more. All your old O3s, O4s, O5 Air Forces, pairs that we even have, I think those are gonna go up with this collab and with Air Forces just gonna blow up. So, so you're saying what's gonna, what's in the future, what do you think is going to die right now? So I think, I don't wanna say ones because ones are gonna, are always timeless, but it's ones. Ones, it's, that ones was are it. going to it's die. Ones. Fours are gonna overtake the ones. Fours are gonna collect the crown. Then threes are gonna be the runner up. Ones are gonna fall back down. And, make and I think way dunks, back they're making years. way too many dunks. I think I, dunks I was just. I understand Nike wants the dunks to be the shoe that everyone can have. That's when they keep re releasing the pandas and all these colors. But at the end of the day, man, it goes back to what we said. Why does every single shoe that the world is releasing, why does everyone have to have it, you know? So. The ones are gonna die. Look at how many times they restock the UNCs, mm -hmm. the Hyper Royals, all that, Mochas, uh, Volts. Uh, look at the Dunks. They're gonna die. The SBs, the SBs might hold their name for a little bit, mm -hmm. but they're gonna, they'll be on the same I train. I like the SBs. Yeah, the I SP, too. Because they, they only release them at skate shops, so that's the exclusivity but is there. They're not far from Dunks. Yeah. And I see them on the same tongue. train as Dunks and Ones. Or they try to release like a bootleg SB Dunk, like they try to get like a like look look what they did with the Tiffany's, like the the, the little broke man Tiffany's. I mean, obviously Dunks went up in price, but like you know you're trying to mimic those special colors. The what the Dunks, the what was the the, the what ones? the Pauls? What the Pauls? You know they they were trying to get that uh, what the Dunk hype going. And those didn't even do well. Like they don't never they did at first. No, I know, but before they released. Oh no, you know. Remember I told you that I think someone had came in and brought an early pair. Before they released, yeah, resale was what a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, I think. I think it was no, nah, not two thousand. I think twelve. They were high though. Yeah, they were high for what it dropped. is. For what they're it high. was, and then now they're like sitting at like four or five. Yeah, not no, yeah five, five six. So I mean, for in today's day, that's not that much resale. I mean, which yeah, is, it's a lot crazy, of money, which is crazy because. But I'm just saying, as far as like what we see shoes now sitting at, I mean, we we have a pair of two thousand dollar pair of shoes right here so. so so do you see what nike is doing that they're trying to replicate these big colorways and then they fail doing so because now everybody has the shoe i wouldn't be surprised if they try to replicate the paris sb or the freddy krueger mm -hmm. things of that nature well same thing how they did the uh he's got a point on that they did the uh, nike dunk supremes those they tried doing they made the high into the low and it, and it, it didn't, didn't work it out didn't work. it mean, didn't work it, out it, that's what i'm saying like for, they got they, their they, money though. Nike they, got they their actually, money. They actually That's what I'm saying. That. It's going like it's going. It's going to die because yeah. their replications are they're not hitting. And everything is actually looking the same too. So this is like also going into athletes' shoes. Jordan Brand, Puma, Nike, all this. Every shoe, every player that has that gets another shoe. One, two, three, four. Everything is starting to look the same now. LeBron's and KD's as their numbers approach the higher twenties it starts getting more whack it goes into the criteria of basketball. So that's why they're re-releasing, as you see LeBron re-releasing all his- um, He's got a point. His trophy room kicks, basically. Um, it's just every the, every sil silhouette and every idea is just getting either reused, washed, or adjusted. So it's just getting a little, shoes these days, it, it will never die out, of course, because we're going to keep the cycle going, but it's just, it's just getting a little boring out here, you know? I see, I see what you're saying about the ones kind of dying off. I, we've kind of seen that as far as like the sales go. Mm -hmm. You know, the well, ones, not really much people they're are eyeing the ones. Huh? They, they were extremely hot. Yeah, like last year, I think last year now or two years ago. they're expensive for no reason. Uh, but don't get me wrong, you're still going to have your people buying the ones. I mean, of course, you're still going to have your people that buy everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But is it still going to, like, is it still going to hold the crown that it previously did? Yeah, I mean, it, but I think another thing that J Jordan's been messing up on that because of all these whack colorways they've been doing lately the shadow 2.0s did we really need those probably no. not the, the, the Marini, Mar marina blues it's like a royal the marina blues we kind of really don't need those uh the uh i mean look at all these it just, it whack just colorways they've been Jordan. doing the uh the ones that you hate a lot the purple with the yellow uh those those uh what do they call them the the it has this yellow swoosh with like the magenta colorway this is one of those shoes that I tell you that this is shoe of the year. This is not shoe of the year. So whatever Jordan's doing, we do not need these Jordan brand. Uh, I know obviously- We need these. Please, please. 
Uh, these are okay. These are okay. These, I, I did see these kind of did Those are ugly, lift so. the test of time. But uh, again, I think Jordan's kind of messing it up for the ones because they're creating a lot of Too many wack colorways. colorways. Yeah, a lot of colorways and colorways we don't need. And or, or they're trying to just add a story or something that Jordan liked to a colorway. Like, the, what are those new ones set for 2022? The yeah. bubble gum? Come, I mean, come on now. I mean, I mean, who else has to chew bubble gum in the damn world? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> come on now. All right, guys. So wrapping up 2021, uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway, which is going on right now on our Instagram, at Soulplier. Uh, we are giving away a pair of... Cool Gray 11s, a pair of Lightning 4s, and a pair of Adidas uh, 350 V2 MX Oats. So make sure to uh, enter the giveaway right now. All you have to do is like the post, uh, tag three friends, which are men's or US women's size, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, which you know you guys are right here. So make sure you guys do that to enter, and hopefully you can get a pair of these shoes in your size. Um, again, thank you everyone for supporting the channel, supporting uh, the store. Uh, make sure to check us out on Instagram and we'll see you guys on the next one. Merry Christmas.